Sir, how is your last name pronounced? B as in boy, O-U-C-H-E-R. How's it pronounced? Voucher. Voucher. Boucher. We're on the record in case number 24, CRI 124, cases caps in state of Ohio versus Joshua Boucher. We're scheduled today for bond sale complaint filed with the court in this date, that being April 3, 2024. We're we'll conduct this hearing by video. State of Ohio is represented by Assistant Prosecutor Michael Donatini. The defendant is also present. Mr. Boucher, do you have any objection to the court conduct this hearing by video? No, I can hear you. Have you received a copy of the complaint, sir? Yes, Your Honor. The complaint charges one count of failure to comply with an order or signal of a police officer. That's a felony of the third degree. Count one states in that order about April 1, 2024, Nashland County, Ohio, Joshua Bocher did operate a motor vehicle so as willfully to elude or flee a police officer after receiving a visible audible signal from a police officer to bring his motor vehicle to a stop and the operation of the motor vehicle by the offender caused a substantial risk of serious physical harm to persons or property. Sir, do you understand what's being alleged in count one? Um, I'm thinking so, Your Honor. Um, and as far as today, so I'm, not, I'm not asking if you agree with the charge. I just want to make sure that you understand what they're claiming. Do you understand what they're claiming, sir? Yes, I do. During the course of these proceedings, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you to future court hearings. You also have the right to be represented by an attorney if you don't think you can afford to hire an attorney in the court can city for court appointed counsel, if you qualify, the court will appoint an attorney to represent you in this case. There's a $25 fee for court appointed counsel. Further, since you're charged with a felony offense by complaint, you have the right to a preliminary hearing. That's a court hearing during which the state would have to establish to the court that there's probable cause for the charge in this case for the case to continue. And finally, do you have the right to a jury trial, which means you have the right to require the state of a how to prove your guilt by having beyond reasonable doubt to 12 jurors. Sir, do you understand your rights? Yes. So you are charged with a felony offense. Do you want to be represented by a lawyer in this case? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Can you afford to hire yes. one to American City for court appointed counsel? I can afford to hire one, but I think I'm going to need a court appointed counsel to start it. Okay. Sir, do you currently receive food stamps, part related veterans benefits, Medicaid, SSI, SSD? Ohio Works First Last Tana Fund? Yes, sir. Are you employed? Yes, real estate. Who do you work for? Myself. Sir, typically, how much do you make per month? $20,000. How much? $20,000. Per month? If I break it down and sold these houses the last two years, the two properties, it would probably be around 15 to 20 grand. Sir, in the last 30 days, he received any other sources of income or any benefits like unemployment compensation, workers' compensation, child support? No, Your Honor. Are you married, sir? Yes, I am. I'm happily married. Um, sir, does your wife have an income? Yes, she is also. She She's a psychiatric nurse practitioner. Uh, approximately, how much does she make? Now, if I were to break these real estate properties down that I do own, that's why I said that I I would probably make that much a month. I know that's a little out of the ordinary. Is that is that reasonable for you? The way I that that's fine, sir. Sir, does your wife receive any benefits like unemployment compensation, workers' compensation, child support? No, we're both workers. Sir, do you or your wife have any bank accounts, like a checking account, savings account, money market account? Yes, I did have all those. Um, Sir, can you tell me approximately how much money do you have in the bank in total? No, I cannot. I cannot tell you that because I do not know that. We we're pretty honest with each other. There was never a discrepancy in money. Um, sir, based upon the information you provided, I don't think you qualify for court appointed counsel, but we're going to go ahead and set a bond today, and we'll talk about that further. Mr. Donatini, what's the state's position on bond? Uh, Your Honor, we'll start by uh, mentioning there will likely be additional charges forthcoming related to the theft of a uh, vehicle um, that was used in the uh, police pursuit in this case. 
Uh, this defendant is a suspect in connection with a shooting in Morrow County, and he'll likely be facing charges in that county pertaining to the shooting. Uh, I don't have any information as to the condition of the victim in that case. Uh, the defendant made his way to Ashland County, went left of center on State Route 89, and hit an oncoming ODOT truck, causing minor injuries to the truck driver. There were three individuals in a pickup truck who stopped to help, and while they were assisting the ODOT driver, the defendant got into their pickup and drove off. Uh, he led a sheriff's deputy on a chase at speeds of approximately 100 miles per hour on county roads, lost control of the vehicle, drove through several yards. I'd estimate that he came within about five feet of a residence and actually did sideswipe a metal carport. Um, spike strips were thrown in an unsuccessful attempt to stop the vehicle. Uh, the Ashland County deputy attempted to end the chase before he reached Loudonville by ramming the vehicle, and in doing so, the deputy sustained a possible broken ankle. Uh, the defendant fled on foot and was captured in the basement of a vacant home just across the county line uh, in Holmes County near Loudonville. Our Ashland County deputy also received information from a Knox County detective that this defendant has made a threat to kill some business associates of his in that county. The defendant has been known to use an alias in the past, and he has prior convictions for aggravated menacing, uh, drug offenses, including a felony cocaine possession. I see arrests for uh, resisting arrest and obstructing official business, but I don't have information as to the disposition on those charges. Uh, given that this defendant's a suspect in a shooting, he's made threats toward others, led law enforcement on a high-speed chase in a stolen vehicle, and has used an alias, the state believes this defendant's a serious flight risk and a danger to others. We would request the bond be set in the amount of $1 million. Uh, we would request no contact with witnesses. Mr. Bocher, as far as today, the court is only setting bond, of course, on addressing the merits of the charge. Again, you do have the right to remain silent. Further, sir, bond is something the court can always reconsider. So if you want to speak with an attorney before addressing bond, that's fine. We can always reconsider bond again in the future. Sir, so is there anything you want to tell me today before I set bond? You do not have to. No, Your Honor. I know there's been a misunderstanding here, and I have the proof in my book bag, and I have a lot of evidence that's been going on recently that's to conclude to all of this. And I have great explanation for this, and I do apologize for this misunderstanding. So the court's going to set bond as follows. To be released while the case is pending, I'll have to post two bonds. First bond is a personal reconnaissance bond that your written prompts to the court to appear for all future hearings. If you would fail to appear for a hearing, you could be processed for the separate felony offense called failure to appear. That's a felony of fourth degree. It's in addition to this case. Court's also requiring post a bond amount of $1 million. That can be posted with a surety bond, cash bond, or real estate posting. If you post bond or subject to the following conditions, one, you're not to leave the state of Ohio while the case is pending. Second, you must appear for all future hearings in this case. Third, you must keep the court advice of your address and phone number at all times. Fourth, you yeah. obey all laws and orders of the court. Fifth, you're not to use, consume, or possess any alcohol or drugs of abuse. You'll also be subject to random drug and alcohol testing at your own expense. Further, sir, if you post bond, you must enroll in the court's drug and alcohol testing program. Further, sir, if you post bond, you have no contact whatsoever with the following individuals. Further, sir, if you post bond, you're not to operate any motor vehicles while the case is pending. Further, sir, if you post bond, you're not to be in possession of any firearms. And finally, sir, if you post bond, you will be subject to GPS monitoring. What that means, sir, if you post bond or bill circuit the GPS monitor, you have to wear that while this case is pending. While you're GPS monitoring of a curfew, you must be at your approved residence 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You may only leave your approved residence for court proceedings. In this case, previously scheduled meetings with your attorney and emergency medical appointments for yourself. Further, sir, you will be uh, re responsible for any GPS costs in this case. Sir, do you understand the condition of bond? Yes, Your Honor. Um, how much is it going to be for, you're saying I can real estate, I could sign my house over for it? You have to post a million dollar bond. Um, if you had real estate valued at a million dollars, you could put that up. But that's something you have to talk to an attorney about in the clerk's office about.
Mr. Donatini, as far as scheduling, would you be available Friday, April 5, 2024 at 9.30 a.m.? Uh, that would be fine, Your Honor. Mr. Boach, your next court hearing is going to be this coming Friday, April 5, 2024 at 9.30 a.m. We're going to do that by video. If you would post bond before then, they need to come to our courthouse. We're the Ashton County Court of Common Pleas. We're in downtown Ashton on 2nd Street. Just come to the top floor again Friday at 9.30 a.m. We'll make sure you have computer access. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. And is there a way I can lower the bond Friday? Uh, we can always consider that, sir, but I'm not going to make any promises to you. Um, right. Mr. Bocher, as far as your right to an attorney, I'm going to give you a couple days to try and hire an attorney on your own. Um, if you're not able to hire an attorney by Friday at 930, we'll talk about that more, sir, at that point in time. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. And... Anything further today? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. We're adjourned.